Hello guys, welcome to or back to my channel. My name is Aubrey if you're new here. If you are new, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't and follow me on Instagram. I always link it down below, but I'll leave my name on the screen. Follow me on TikTok, all the tings. I wanted to do a fall essentials closet video, a few basics, a few fun things, a little Aubrey spice. I don't know why, it's just easier to look chic put together and nice in the fall especially the trends lately are really leaning towards minimalism basics just looking chic so i want to show a few things that i think you need in your wardrobe and where to get those items starting off with a good pair of jeans i think denim really thrives in the fall and winter i have a really good pair that i just got from revolve from levi's levi's will never go out of style they can stay in your wardrobe forever you can get them thrifted or they're always on sale if you go to an outlet i've gotten most of mine on the outlet these were on sale off of revolve so i got them however you don't need to go Levi's. There are really good options on H&M. A little bit thinner, a little bit less good quality, less good quality, but great washes, great styles. I just got this pair of H&M. So there's an H&M style and then the ones that I'm wearing right now are from ASOS. There's ASOS and then Zara. Zara has really good pairs of jeans that I've kept in my wardrobe for a good amount of time and they're not that expensive. They're usually around $50. Start with a good pair of jeans and then add a top. Having a good few basic tops to start every outfit for the fall is always the way that I go. You want to go with t-shirts, long sleeves, all your basics, black and white this t-shirt if you wanted to go a little bit spice this is from rag and bone it's an olive green t-shirt my favorite t-shirts ever are the skims t-shirt okay brooks is joining us skims cotton t-shirt i have them in many colors they are so flattering the quality is amazing so so good h&m also has great ones also long sleeves the skims long sleeves are my favorite the cotton and the fits everybody material this is a little bit lighter form-fitting stretchy such a good thing to start with an outfit my second favorite is uniqlo uniqlo has great basics for a great price they have the best materials they have special materials to keep you warm like their heat tech ones i don't know what they're doing over there they're like my dog is humping the blanket right now brooks i'm sorry about that this long sleeve i wear all the time all throughout fall and winter from uniqlo great long sleeve now, if you want to layer on top of these t-shirts, a great way to do that is some sweaters, whether it be over the shoulder. I love that look. I think that brings a level of chicness to any outfit. And it's also a good way to bring alongside a warm item in those like transitional periods. Zara H&M has fabulous knitwear that I've kept throughout the years. If you want to go with that little bit of Aubrey Spice, you can throw over polo one i love this i got this from bloomingdale's classic sweater to add to the wardrobe throw it over the shoulders instant fall chic vibe now let's add a shoe shoes for fall are so fun my favorite that i have taken with me year to year i never think i think they never go out of style they're so chic and fun and classic are loafers the gucci princeton loafers with the fur slide-ons a full loafer they have so many dupes of these these are from dh gate these were i think like 40 bucks i can link a bunch of dupes you can get them on amazon you can get them at basically any store now they sell this type of loafer and any style loafer is just so good never goes out of style i've been a lover of uggs for years they just morph in different styles and they're making such a comeback right now the minis are my favorite as well as some of the slip-ons they have really great dupes out for them i can link some down below or just get a pair of uggs for christmas for your birthday you will keep them forever i had one pair that i got in like fifth grade and i wore them all the way through college so good investment if you don't want to do a loafer or an ugg you can do a boot this is a great day to night boot i have them in a few colors but like a black is classic army green classic this one is more of a flat boot adds this like fall chic i don't know it's fall you know love a good boot with the jeans with leggings with anything on top these just add a little joie de vie you know 
If you want the center point of your outfit to be the top, you can do a fun sweater. I get a lot of fun sweaters off of ASOS. Or if you want to go a little bit more Aubrey Spice classic, you can do a Love Shack fancy sweater. These are my favorite ever. Keep them in the wardrobe for so long. You can get them off the Real Real or any department store. But these are like classic fun. If I don't know what to wear, but I still want to dress up, I wear jeans and a sweater like this. And it's my perfect outfit. Sweaters with leggings and boots, sweaters with jeans and boots, such good items for fall. Or you can go the blazer route. I know blazers are super, super popular. Here's a more basic one. I mean, it's still cropped, but I really don't have many like plain blazers. In my wardrobe, you can go the classic blue, oversized, some jeans, some leggings, day to night with a boot like this, or you can do a heeled boot for a night look. So easy, get a good blazer. If you want a little bit of spice, you can get fun blazer from Zara like this one. I have this blazer from Zara for more of a night look. I think this with a pair of leggings and boots and a little top in the inside is a great fun but still easy outfit for dates, date night, or for work if you work somewhere fun. All right, last clothing items are coats. Coats are everything for fall and I would say that you need three styles of coat. Top three styles of coats that you need are a pea coat, fun coat, and a puffer. I personally... I just broke my hanger. Shit. Okay. This pea coat from H&M quickly became my favorite over my expensive coats. Something about the cut, the style, the look of it, it was so good for day to night. A nice black coat will never do you wrong. H&M, Zara, great pea coats. Throw this over any outfit. You can wear sweatpants and a pea coat and still look super chic. And that is the beauty of fall and winter. Puffers, if it's starting to actually get cold or you want like an easier look, you can get a light puffer for fall. Uniqlo has my favorite puffers for a good price. Okay, so the Aritzia Super Puffs are like so worth the money. My winter winter puffer coat is from there, but if you don't want to go that route, especially for like a lighter coat, Uniqlo has great puffers. I got this one on sale for like 30 bucks and I wear it nonstop. It is surprisingly warm because it's down and puffer, but it's also light in a feel. It doesn't weigh you down, so I can still wear it in the fall months. For that in-between coat, I like something like this. This is from Z Supply. Any type of like quilted or the material that's like heavier than a sweatshirt but not quite a coat is a great fall coat you can get something off of H&M, Zara, ASOS, I will link a few items down below that I think would be good or Z Supply like me but this in-between coat can be the essence of the outfit or something just to like hide over what you're wearing. Last thing, must have a long sleeve Oxford shirt. This one is my favorite and it's from H&M. I have super expensive YSL ones that I don't wear as much as I wear this one. Something about the material, the style of it. I wore it to dinner the other night with jeans and a little heel and it was my perfect fall dinner outfit. You can layer it up or wear it on its own. You just, you need it. It's so comfortable, my perfect go-to. Just get it or steal your brothers, steal your dad, steal your boyfriends. Last thing for your fall essentials are your accoutrements. The accoutrements are what make all these basic clothes into outfit. Jewelry is always my go-to, bags and shoes. If you wanna add that spice instead of a plain boot, you can do a fun boot like these. These are from Paris, Texas, one of my favorites. Or jewelry. Every day adding lots of jewelry layers, add something fun. I'm gonna plug my own store, Ange. I will link everything that I'm wearing down below. Go shop on my store, I make them myself. If you wanna support your gal, but you can do a nice everyday hoop like the ones I'm wearing now, a chunkier hoop, lots of little necklaces, things like that add to outfits, or a little pearl, that could always be fun. And if it's nighttime, for me, I wear something like this, a fun earring to add to those basic outfits. Last thing, purses. Purses are my piece de resistance of every outfit. If you're gonna get one, get a black over the shoulder, day to night bag like this. This was like a hundred bucks, a dupe. I will link it down below. 
I use this non-stop in the fall it makes every outfit look expensive I can wear it at night like this or during the day a crossbody like this perfect style size everything love a good bag or if you need a work bag get this one you can do a fun color for the Aubrey Spice or you can do the regular black brown whatever you want this was about 50 or 60 dollars another dupe i will link it down below and lastly you want to look good you want to look chic here's what i've learned in my 24 years do your hair <laughs> that's it i have mastered the heatless curls and that's my go-to and it just makes every outfit look put together if you did a little something to your hair or it looks purposeful styled whatever it is or have a good cut something like that get a few hairstyles in your repertoire and that's how you look chic i think that was everything rundown of everything you need for your fall essential wardrobe and a little something extra if you want to do a little something extra thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't follow me on instagram follow me on tiktok all the tings and i will see you in my next one Mwah.